You already know, man, it's Big Dave's Corner where we grind at 24-7, 365. I don't even need to introduce these people, man. It's TMS, too much whack. I mean, my bad. <laughs> True and some monster squad in the building, man. Introduce yourselves. Hey, yo. I'm JC, the nicest nigga holding mics. Oh, so. These niggas know I'm right. Next. Be easy to die, man. What else? What else? Yeah, nobody, nobody. Deal the monster, aka the first prince, aka that nigga who just left out your house before you got to that bitch. <laughs> what else? Who else? What else? And don't forget my lovely co-host in the middle. The lovely right here. co-host. It's the LaRue dead friends. Let's start. First of all, shout out to the LaRue project. It's gonna be coming soon, man. Be on the lookout for that. First of all. But you already know, man. I would get started with JC. I know that's what the fans want, but I'm going to the new nigga. The new nigga. You know what I'm saying? Fresh off a of body bag. Talk to him, deal. Man, y'all know how this shit go, man. I'm from Joy Road. We just kill niggas all day. They say they wanted me to come here to kill a nigga. Came. Killed him, shook his hand. That's how it go, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what we do. They t- I'm here, Scheme Street Rookie of the Year, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that. MVP, uh, Floss nigga on the block, all that shit. That's all me, man. I'm telling you right now, man, we ain't doing. I'm your agent from now on. We ain't doing no more SA cards. Flat out. Name me a big nigga you want right now. Real talk, I ain't even. No, no, no. Name somebody you want, man. Name a big nigga. Name somebody. You done fucked up. This big day is corner. Oh, yeah, you say you, you gonna put a nigga on black. That's right. That name shit. somebody. You know what I'm saying? Off, off the top of my head, though, only person I, I think I could, I really do want is Gun of Lynx. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, I think I seen Gun They, uh. They doing their damn thing, you know what I'm saying? Niggas doing their thing, they getting them views, getting them fans and shit. And I want that shit, nigga. I'm coming for it. Please believe that shit. All right, shot. Yeah, shot. You already know, man. To the next person we got up is Be Easy, the Tom. Oh, man, man, over Mr. here. Mr. Wells from So. What else? Jay, who? Who you got? Next, man, Detour. Man, J-Rail, you know what I'm saying? I got J-Rail on Detour. Ish. This is going to be a... Straight body, man, you know what I'm saying? J-Real, don't get me wrong, he got a nice flow, but it's too much swag in his rap. I'm just come through, kill him like I do, man, that's just gonna be the end of that. And I got Meryl Green on June 2nd, too. I'm really looking forward to that battle more than j Real. That's a whack man, he should lose, you know what I'm saying? He, should, he gonna lose a coin flip and everything. <laughs> I don't like that nigga name. You gonna lose the battle. You just lost the battle. J Rail. Meryl Green from the city. Shout out to the city. What city? He's on June 2nd. J Rail from the city too. His name ain't to have to kill some of the trainees, but I'm saying shout out to Alphalete. They come they come down here and do work, but Meryl Green got a stupid name. <laughs> it sounded like if Frankenstein was like, I'm not gonna be Frankenstein, give me another name, right. They'd be like, you know what? Merle Green. It sound like that. <laughs> oh shit. I mean, you got some for us. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, shit. oh yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to a nigga I'm about to kill, Young L man. I'm so glad you oh, wanted to met. Shit. I'm gonna take that money and go buy a room right after that shit, little nigga. Death died dying. So be easy, man. You just It's hard to explain what you did at the U-turn back. I never seen a nigga TSA was spit. He was spitting heat that first round. Then it was like you battled. Yo first, you said your first round and just stole that nigga energy like, give me all that. And when he, I agree. Like, I think he actually said that. Put his fire on. How does that? How does that make you feel when you see a nigga rapping and you know in the second round he don't sound shit like his first round. Real, real <laughs> shit though. I write my shit. My first round, I go hard. I see him go hard in my first round. But my first round, I usually try to trick motherfuckers into making them think they doing something. And in the sec, my second round, I really try harder than my second round of all of all my rounds and shit. Because the second round, I want to just take everything from like the way I rap my aggression and shit. I do that shit because I try to take people out of their comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? I try to make people get so intimidated that they choke or they don't say they stuff how they usually supposed to say it because they feel intimidated. And that's usually my approach how I go on about battles. But don't try to use don't, don't that think shit. don't try to use that because. Every battle, I try to trick your ass. 
and trip your ass. They can hit us with that CLK line one time. Oh yeah, man. I told I told TSA man, it was scary man. If I was TSA, I would have been real mad. Yeah, real mad. Real I told TSA, I said. That can pop like a can pop, you'll get your top crack. They'll find TSA on MLK, cause the death CLK. I push this top back. Oh my god. Oh, Classic. Serial crazy, man. That shit crazy. Yeah. Alright. I got a question. Go right ahead. I wanna know why you started the channel. Why? Why you started the channel? Why did I start battling? Actually, uh, I started battling before I even do started doing music and shit. I started battling because a lot of niggas was talking shit and it wasn't sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to, like, before all this shit, I used to battle for bread in Detroit. Like, it's a lot of niggas out there who know me and shit, you know what I'm saying? I just stopped doing this shit because I got love for music, you know what I'm saying? That's my thing and shit. And plus, you get way more hoes from music. When you be on stage and shit, man, bitch, you be crazy. You be surprised when a bitch throw up on stage, my nigga. But, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I just, I just love rap. Anything about whether I, whether I get a record deal, I blow up, whatever the fuck, I'm going to be an old ass nigga still barring shit for probably some of these young niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's, I just love this shit. He going to be that old nigga like, you don't know what you miss with young niggas. Yeah. But, you know. Let's switch it, man, to, to the board, okay? It's not a cop. URLs. I'm going back. <laughs> JC, man. Speak to these niggas, dog. Yo, listen. <laughs> First off, speak on J Nell battle coming up. My nigga J Nell's oh, finally yeah. stepping back in the ring. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> in a way. <laughs> 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 he's stepping in the ring. I guess, um, I can't remember the nigga name or where he's from. Interstate, Interstate Flame. Flame. I'm mad you know and I don't. He, um, J. Nell coming back in the ring. He coming back in July, so, you know, if, if it's any nigga who felt some type of inspiration or anything off of J. Nell's first two battles, he will be back in July. Don't know how long he'll be back, but he will come back in July, so. I don't even know the date for it, but it's July, so you should mark X every date in that month. It's, it's, it's going to be big. But yeah, that nigga definitely coming back. So tell me, man, you got some shit that's, you got two unreleased battles. I do that. You just came off a classic with links. Do that. And you got Young Cannon in Chicago in June. That dude. Man, how you feel about your, your, your resume, your work you put in right now? People come in this rap game, this battle game, and then they take a battle, take time off. Come back four months later, got another battle, take time off. But then you been constant. You started in what, October? Had a battle in De September. Had a battle then. You battled Max and went October. Then you had a battle on URL in December. Then you came back in January on another league. Then you went back to URL. Then you came back for Poopy Do. <laughs> Then you went back to URL. My battle last year with Mac was my very, 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 very first battle. So for all these niggas who's out here who got all these battles and all this footage and all that shit, and they look at me like, get your weight up or whatever. However, like, you feel I'm nice, all right, that's cool. But if you feel like getting my weight up is a requirement, I'm all right with that too. I'm going to just do that at the expense of you niggas. So I'm going to go out here, all these other leagues, I'm going to trash one nigga from everywhere y'all feel like possible competition is at. And I'm going to end right, right back up where I started at. And I'm going to ask shit. for the same nigga I asked for before I left to go put in that work. So, you know, I just I just like to hear the excuses, you know what I mean? Like, I got offered, well, Hitman asked me to battle him for a round in Chicago. A couple niggas said, get your weight up. Smack don't like to do one round battles. So I said, all right, when they turn that down, I did links. You know, I did uh, some nigga in St. Louis on the 25th of February. Then I did links on the 31st. Then two weeks later, I did a nigga in New Jersey. And then I got um, I got uh, Snow May 26th. Then I got Young Cannon June 17th. And then I got a nigga named Chilla Jones in July. I don't give a fuck. I, listen, listen to this. This is me. First of all, two weeks back to back, I cannot show you another nigga who can do both of those battles, do what I did in those battles, not slip or stumble in no type of way at all. Real shit. Also, I will not lose none of these motherfucking battles I'm booking. I promise you that. Not in Because, not in first of all, not at all. I'm on, I, I, no, you fucking up. There's no, you fucking up. I'm fucking up? No, you don't fuck up. I got a question. <laughs> What's up, sir? We got questions. What's up, sir? No crowd participation. I need you to write it down on a piece of paper, sir. Team. 
I'm just saying, I feel, listen, listen. I, I'm not I'm not gonna brag or boast or nothing like that. I feel like I have an unbaggable style. Now I'm not finna brag right now, but because I had another nigga two two weeks after Lynx, Lynx was not able to get everything I could give. Not nothing against Lynx, because Lynx showed his ass. The problem was Lynx choking. Lynx didn't choke, so it was a good battle. Boom, there you go. But he got out of 100, he got about 25% of what I could give. I stopped on him, wrote for another nigga, went back and memorized Lynx shit. The moment I left this motherfucker, I went and memorized the shit I had for a nigga two weeks later. So I had no time to revise anything. Every Both of those niggas got rough draft rounds. Still, it takes nothing away from Lynx because he came out and showed his ass. But you talking about niggas that got a month apart. So what you gonna fuck both? What you gonna do with this? What you gonna do with this? What you gonna do with what? I'm gonna write ahead. You gonna let us ask you questions? Absolutely. That's the question. Yeah, that's my question. I like me. I have questions. I get to going. Going. Because see what it is. But it's an interview. It's not a blowout. But see the battles. The battles get a lot of views, and then with the views come the comments. So I feel like when I get on camera, I gotta address a lot of shit. You know what I mean? You gotta let me ask you questions. Shout out to Moon Dub, baby. Let's, let's, let's. Let's. So is you gonna be able to give Snow that hundred percent that you didn't give Links? I'm not gonna say a hundred because we doing one round. But and anything a nigga can get in three, he'll probably get in one. So it's gonna hurt worse than a nigga getting three rounds. Three rounds, I'll beat your ass for three minutes. You can sit down, wipe your fucking face off, stick a gauze in your motherfucking nose, and come back out for some more. But in one round, you get your ass whipped. The whole time. That hurts. The fuck who you are, what you capable of, that hurts. And Snow got that. That's bad. That's bad. You got some questions? Shout out to Snow. Rest in peace. Did I knock him out? Did I? You went past, you ain't stop at the top. Yeah, I ran it. You're supposed to stop. She got me a ticket. I got it. Stop. Yeah. So when is the next project? Mm -hmm. Monster Squad, true and see the Monster Squad. Can I real talk? Truthfully, we we uh we hoping, we banking on uh this summer, but real talk, I'm booked till fucking July. This nigga booked till like the end of the year. I'm booked out until August. Show money. This nigga for the rest of the year. Oh yeah, we need a fucking agent too, man. I got a mixtape. Anybody, any two females you want to July about the beginning of August? Close casket, be easy. Everybody gonna be on there from the Truancy Monster Squad. Big Dave, I got a question. It's coming. It's coming. So I heard something about some ladies. Right. Where they at? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I do got somebody, you know what I'm saying, Red Bone. Yeah, shout out Red Bone the problem. Triple threat. Triple threat. She uh right. trying to battle or whatever. I'm just waiting on the name they drop or whatever, because she gonna get it in and she gonna be a real problem. Oh, yeah. Let her know we gonna want her on the group project. Yeah, okay. I like that. Oh yeah, shout out. Can we take a question? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, no, um, who better, you or be easy? That's not a question. Let me tell y'all why it's not a question. Let me tell like It's not a question. Let me tell y'all why a question. Uh, the question is whoever y'all, the answer is whoever y'all feel. All right, all right, let me rephrase. No, let me, no, let me let y'all know what it is. You can fuck with be easy. Okay. I can feel, I can fuck with any nigga. But let me explain what I'm talking about. The same reason I didn't destroy links. Would y'all rather have to for the battle to be on URL TV? Would y'all rather have seen me destroy him, or for two niggas from the same city that has never had light on it put on a good battle? Now another nigga from that city has light. Just saying, you don't. I never felt like a nigga in my city was competition. Period. My group. If you tell me a nigga in my squad is better than me, I'm okay with that. It's my squad. I don't give a fuck. That nigga ain't finna jump out on the track and be like, oh that yeah, and fuck Jason. Like, we don't do it. Like, that's how we do. Be I mean, easy, you think you can kill JC? I ain't trying to start it. Oh, all right, no, I know you it's just real TV. Gun versus JC. I don't think I could kill JC, but I know it'll be a great competition. What else? Now hey, the battle will come down. The battle will come down to what style you? Which style you like? Mm -hmm. JC got a lyrical style. He flip a lot of stuff. Mine is aggressive. I get straight to it. So it's, there's no doubt that it'll be a great ass battle. It just comes it's out to come which style you prefer. Like, on top of everything, though, if, if we get A1 versus K, Snow versus Lynx, would y'all two battle each other? Nope. Nope. It'll be a hell of a card. It would be. It would no, be. It would be. We don't do that. 
See what it see I'm 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 all about letting my nigga shine. Okay. It's just about it's just, it's just how it is. So do you feel like he can't shine if he battling you? I don't think that's a way for him to shine. Who is it? He gonna create his own lane, do what he do. That's just how it go. I'ma do what I do. That's why I didn't want to battle Snow. It's like, yo, be easy battle Snow. They gonna look at us. That's just another way to compare us to each other. When I when I accept the links, I said, yo, J Nail battle links. That's another way for them to compare us to each other. But I said, you know what? It's gonna be a good look for the city, a good look for the movement. So I can make it more of a good match than I can to actually kill a nigga. Cause they gonna be like, yo, he killed links worse than J Nail did. He is better than J Nail after all. Cause I first first felt like J Nail. That's not a question. I don't give a fuck about all that. Because remember, when I first got in this motherfucker, I said, I don't care about who y'all feel number one is. I have a bigger mission than that. And I did a battle with Lynx. That shit, you already got 15,000 views, and it hasn't even been a week. Now, now, nobody gives a fuck who won that battle, because Lynx has a proven ground battle. Exactly. It's all about a bigger mission. So, so yeah, what else? What? Who is a nigga that right it. now? Who is a nigga right now that you feel like Be Easy can get on that stage with, and you feel like he'll just fuck them off? Here or in URL? And URL on that stage. He need a main event. I want to see B. I want to see B Easy against. Uh, good ass question. Shotgun shit. Nah. Okay. They, have a, a they both got a big, big nigga bully style. Except for I think he, he's better. Like it's it's just going, you know. Okay. Now be easy. Who was a nigga on that on stage <laughs> that you feel like your brother Dill can fuck with? Dill. To be honest, I feel like Dill can fuck over everybody on that stage. Including like I told Dill when I first came in, when I first started battle rapping, he didn't want to do the shit. And I broke it down to him like, nigga, I know you can go all the way to that. I know you can go all the way there. I know his potential, man. And I feel like he can fuck over anybody that's on that stage. Let me let y'all know the line that made me want to start punchlines. Dill said a lot, because he used to rap before us. Dill said a line back in like 04. And he said, I'm fly to death like a Leah Jet. I was like, okay, okay I'm about to start doing punch. Yeah, I, did that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. You want to look at it and be like, oh, man, come on. That's come on. Leah, come on. Right. But at the end of the day, that was a dope bar. And it's like, all right, niggas like lines. Niggas yeah. like lines. So, I got a question. What's that? And deal. Who was the nigga <laughs> <laughs> that you feel like JC should battle? Oh, real talk, out of, out of everybody in, in URL, like, this is this is no exaggeration. I, don't, I really don't think it's a lot of niggas who can fuck with my squad. Like, I put, fuck the bread, I put my life on these niggas. Like, when it comes to this rap shit, this is what we do, this is what we've been doing. But, one battle I think that would be really good for JC is Young Ill. Because I, I like that nigga, you know what I'm saying? It's not a lot of niggas who, who I give their props, but that's a nigga I take my hat off to. You know what I'm saying? He right. nice. You know, we gotta wrap this shit up. So y'all got some closing words for the fans out there in the world? Mixtapes. Just uh they coming. Don't let JC say nothing. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'm fucking Jay Rail up on detour. Yeah. You better bring all yeah. you got, Alpha League, whoever yeah. riding with you, they're gonna die with you. Oh yeah, hey man, real talk, true story, man. I need some fucking followers on Twitter, man. <laughs> man. Follow me, I'll come to your house and follow your ass back. No bullshit. <laughs> shout out my shout out my bro showdown. Yeah, Big yeah. missus, he coming out here. I'm Kareem, no, shout out to Kareem. My nigga, that Rose. nigga serving the country. Kareem, yeah. shout out to Kareem. Y'all niggas don't know about that. That nigga serving the country right now. He in the military. I got one last question. Yeah. This your last time to talk. I'm sorry. I want to know how you felt about Lynx flipping your line against <laughs> Rosenberg. I liked it. I think it was um, it wasn't as good as my flip. <laughs> That's just me being honest. But I think his line about. Rap acting when you rapping, I think it was way better. I yeah. think um, fuck this. Is, I think that that was his best line of the night. First, of all. a lot of niggas reacted to shit that was a punchline. They didn't react to the fact of the the sting that the actual bar had. Right. That was one of his dopest lines of the night. And niggas said he said that he'd lift him up like LeBron Duncan, and niggas went crazy. That was so average compared to that line. And niggas don't niggas don't respect that. But 
like I said, I take my hat off to Lynx because how do we know you ain't acting when you rapping? That was perfect. Like, that's that had all the things. Do you feel like he gave him more of a challenge than these other niggas? Because, I mean, I watch. I watch battle rap. I love it. But I feel like Lynx went in harder than anybody I agree. that you ever I agree. battled. And also, Lynx is better than all the niggas I battled, too. I agree with that. Lynx is all. He better. When I first wrote for Luciano Crack in December, that's when I first met Lynx. And we had a little cypher at Matt Crib. And I respected the nigga from then. So I've, I've, I've seen the progress. I've seen this battle from AD all the way up into me. So I know the nigga done got better. So I know he done gave me a better challenge, but he done gave me a better challenge because he's better than all the niggas I've battled. So it was all about stepping up. And Lynx actually showed his ass when it was actually yeah. time to. You can't give him nothing but credit for that. Yeah, real shit. All right, well, I want you and Lynx on a little project when we start. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, talk about that offline right now. We, <laughs> we don't big <laughs> big we on the same <laughs> team. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. We on the same team. But uh, you are there. You have it, man. Big Dave's corner, man. We yeah. out. Yeah. 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 Thank y'all for coming to the corner. Oh yeah, most definitely. That was a dope ass. We go on. I got some bacon, daddy.